There are many risk factors known for female breast cancer, but we still do not understand what actually causes it. Inheriting a mutation in BRCA1 or BRCA2 genes is probably the strongest risk factor. Breast and ovarian cancers occur early, before age 50. The cancers run in family, and the risk can be quite high. But every cell with a nucleus has the same mutation, and BRCA1 and BRCA2 are general cell requirements. So this work began to try to figure out how BRCA gene mutations are able to select breast and ovary as the sites where cancer occurs. This shows breast tissue removed in a prophylactic mastectomy from a BRCA2 mutation carrier. Her breast lobe is heavily infiltrated with cells from the immune system, but there are no breast cancer cells. The odds of this woman getting breast cancer are very high, but an infection or an inflammatory reaction has occurred first. Whether some kind of infection is what sets off breast cancer is not known, but there are several different viruses that are known causes of cancer. These and other viruses have been suggested as causes of breast cancer as well. But when scientists try to prove or disprove a viral cause for breast cancer, their results never go uncontested for very long. Completely opposite results soon appear to refute any claim that a virus causes or doesn't cause breast cancer. For example, here are two conflicting claims for EBV or Epstein-Barr virus. The claims conflict for other viruses as well. There are viruses or other infections that are involved in causing a few known cancers. Hepatitis viruses cause liver cancer. The bacterium H. pylori causes stomach cancer and human papillomaviruses cause cervical cancer. When the cancer risks largely attributed to these infections were compared in mutation carriers to risks in normal individuals, risks in mutation carriers were much greater. So gene mutations do influence whether viral or other infections lead to cancer. The same thing seems true for ovarian cancer. Tubal ligation protects against ovarian cancer, both in normal women and in mutation carriers. One explanation for this protection is that tying off fallopian tubes prevents infections from ascending into the ovaries. I wondered whether some people are more likely to get cancer from infections if they have mutations in their immune responses. This might help explain viral associations with breast cancer that are so contradictory. Fortunately, some breast cancer genomic sequence data appeared and allowed the testing of this idea. Breast cancer genomes contain thousands of gene mutations, gene deletions, and gene rearrangements. Genomic defenses against cancer-causing viruses are very elaborate. Here you see some of the cells and the gene products required to clear an Epstein-Barr virus infections. There are many opportunities for gene mutations to interfere with a normal immune response. Maybe if some people develop these kinds of mutations, then EBV infection is more likely to persist and cause cancer. This could explain why some people find Epstein-Barr viruses associated with cancer and others don't. The breast can rapidly respond to viral infection and hold it at bay until a stronger immune response develops. This shows toll-like or TLR receptors in the innate immune system. TLR receptors are just one of the multiple types of pathogen recognition receptors needed for the rapid response in the breast to carcinogenic infections. In some breast cancers, there are mutations in the genes encoding for various innate immune receptors. Here are examples of damage to receptors for DNA in the cytoplasm, for a cloud of immune effectors, and for scavenger receptors that remove waste and toxic products. Genes that are active against viral nucleic acids are damaged in some of the breast cancers. Pathogen recognition receptors are an important part of innate immunity. Here, TLR is used as one example of one of these pathogen recognition receptors. 
and the approximate points in breast cancers where the TLR4 mediated responses were damaged is shown. Defenses against RNA viruses are another example of how the innate immune system is damaged in breast cancers. There are many, many other examples, but they all show that mutations have damaged defenses against infections. Carriers of faulty BRCA1 or BRCA2 genes are more likely to accumulate mutations in their immune system. So antiviral defenses can weaken more rapidly. This is also true for defects in other genes related to BRCA1 and BRCA2. Sometimes the mutations can favor one infection over another. This is because some viruses require specific proteins from the host. If the genes for these proteins are mutated, then some infections are less likely. There are also different mechanisms to respond to different infections. So mutations in some of these responses can change which infection becomes more likely. It is well known that damage or suppression of the immune system increases cancer risks. An arbitrary example of this are increased cancer risks in kidney transplant patients. Here, risks for cancers associated with infections in immunosuppressed kidney transplant patients are shown by the dark squares. When the transplant fails and suppression is stopped, risks are shown by the red circles. The graph shows that most of the time, removing immunosuppression restores cancer risk back to normal. The same thing is seen in patients with a known immunodeficiency. A great deal of additional evidence shows that immunodeficiencies are associated with cancers, and some of this evidence is summarized here. Cancers in different tissues are also associated with immunodeficiencies caused by gene mutations. Here you see a section of chromosome 9 that contains many different antiviral interferon genes. This stretch of chromosome 9 undergoes homozygous deletion in at least 2% of cancers. A chromosome 9 deletion including this area has been specifically linked to the cancers listed. In summary then, Genomic damage found in all breast cancers tested so far creates acquired immunodeficiencies. And acquired immunodeficiencies are strongly associated with cancer.